Christ the Lord is risen today. Alleluia. Sons of men and angels say, Alleluia. Raise your joys and triumphs high. Alleluia. Sing ye heavens and earth reply. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we gather on this day to offer to the Lord our God this worship and this sacrifice of the Mass, as well as our own sacrifices of prayer and praise and thanksgiving. As we make ready to enter into this mystery of God's love for us, let us first call to mind our own sins, our weaknesses, and our failures, asking God for his forgiveness and trusting in his mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help, so that, defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews together with their leaders to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Lyconian cities of Lystra and Derbe and to the surrounding countryside where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconia. The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates. For he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news, that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways, Yet in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness. For he gave you 
rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory because of your mercy, because of your truth. Why should the pagans say, Where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but to you give the glory. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to you give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to you give the glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I've always had a soft spot for this particular reading from the Acts of the Apostles because uh, as a young person I was uh, very much into uh, reading and learning about Greek mythology. And here we have Paul and Barnabas in the name of Christ performing a miracle in the city of Lystra. and. Upon seeing this, the people of Lystra declare our gods have come down in human form and based on whatever uh, about Barnabas, 
they decide that he is Zeus in human form, and Paul, because he is the one doing the speaking, is Hermes. And so we have here in sacred scripture the names of two of the uh, Greek uh, pantheon. Now, aside from that rather shallow interest uh, or reason to like this particular passage, something else that it points us to is to look for the good. Even in a contrary situation. In this particular passage, we may be tempted to, uh, well, honestly, I think mo- most of us can imagine this scene and sort of see the inherent comedy in it that Paul and Barnabas have been mistaken for gods uh, and the city goes into an uproar uh, because the gods have come and, uh, and Paul and Barnabas are at wit's end to try to prove to them, no, we're, we're not deities. We are men, just as you are. But we may be tempted to look on the people of Lystra and to sort of uh, to rend our garments and grind our teeth, look at these pagans who are so ready uh, to, to engage in, in their pagan rites and sacrifices that they would uh, mistake these two men for gods. But looking for the good in the situation, once you clear away the surface debris and look at things in a deeper way, what you see is a city full of people who are eager to worship. A city full of people who are ready to honor the divine when it presents itself to them. A city of people who drop everything in order to offer sacrifice and praise their pantheon. That is good stuff. Because when directed aright, as Paul and Barnabas attempt to do by preaching to them the truth of the gospel, such qualities are beautiful and worthy of imitation when directed to the right place. Imagine a city whose people are ready to drop everything when God is made manifest to them, to gather together, to offer worship and praise to God. That is a good thing. And that inner, deeper goodness, that is what the Lord seeks to work with in every situation. That is why it is a poor choice and a bad habit to be constantly looking for and identifying what is bad about a situation or person or circumstance. 
not that the bad does not exist. We have to hold reality before us with all the good and all the bad. But some can focus so much on the bad, the evil, the wrongness, the sinfulness of a situation that they can, in fact, overlook what is good, even if what is good is merely a seed or is buried beneath the surface. But it is God who works with the good and brings the good to life, to conversion, and to fruitfulness. It would have been far worse had Paul and Barnabas gone to Lystra, performed a miracle in the name of God, and be met with total apathy. No eagerness to see the miraculous in front of them. No desire to give praise where praise is due for the good things in their lives. That is a far worse situation. So too with us, while, yes, we need to recognize the evil, the sinful, and the obstacle for what it is, yet we are also compelled to look for what is good, to guard it, to nurture it, to heal it, to bring it to God so that God can make of it something beautiful, something holy, something worth praising him for when we see it come about. We are challenged, each of us, to look for that seed, that essence of goodness in individuals, in circumstances, in situations, in communities, wherever we cast the gaze of our mind. And we are compelled as men and women of faith to proclaim what is good and to cooperate with God's will to nurture that goodness so that even from a poor or bad or evil or sinful situation, God can bring about his triumph and his victory. My brothers and sisters, let us come before the Lord our God to offer him our prayers, our needs, and our concerns. We pray through the intercession of St. Paul and St. Barnabas for fruitfulness in our ministry, that whether we are in our own homes, in our parishes, in our places of work, or in the community, that we can be fruitful in sharing the message of Jesus Christ we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for fruitfulness.
for our governor, for our president, for medical leaders, for all those involved in the decision making in our society at this time. We pray that they will truly seek to serve the common good and give guidance that will be fruitful. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our Bishop Mark Brennan meeting with his priests this week. We pray that as they seek to reopen our churches, to allow us the opportunity for public worship together, that they will work on guidelines that will allow us to be very fruitful in receiving the sacraments and fruitful in handing the faith on to the next generation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are struggling immensely with isolation, with depression, with anxiety, and doubt. And we pray for all of us to find a way to help us to overcome these grave difficulties. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of the soul of Fred Gessler, the intention of this Mass. We pray for his widow Georgia, for all their children and their grandchildren. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our St. Roque Outreach Ministry, for the guidance of the Holy Spirit to find all those who need to be served. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our prayers on the parish prayer chain, our parish book of intentions, for Nancy Guiney and Mary Beth Kiley, and for those prayers that we bring in the silence of our hearts. And for the mothers of Janice Fanjoy and Jody Kilmer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, to save what you had made and what you had made in goodness and in righteousness, you sent your Son to us to preach the gospel and the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. Help us to join in your saving work that we may all rejoice in its rewards. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis un et terra, gloria tua. Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini. Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Paul, St. Barnabas, St. Peter, St. James, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Our Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Agnusei, qui tollis pegata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnusei, qui tollis pegata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Amen. Let us pray. O 
Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Hey, Gina, hey.